This is the brand new PS5 Pro, but compared to the normal PS5, it looks a little bit too similar. So I decided to take it into my own hands and turn it into the ultimate PS5 Pro gaming PC. So since the PS5 Pro just released, there really are not that many accessories for it. So yeah, there basically are RGB strips you can buy for the PS5 and they range from like 20 to $30, which honestly kind of seems pretty expensive, but hey, we got a 15% coupon. There's 358 modes and seven colors. So definitely adding this to the Car. Getting some more cooling would help the PS5 Pro get more consistent FPS. I did find this kind of cooling fan, which I hope actually fits on because it looks like it just strictly plugs straight into the PS5. The only worrying thing is it says it doesn't fit for the PS5 Slim, but that one is a little bit smaller. So I'm really hoping that this one actually works. In case that doesn't work, I found this $10 USB fan. I'm legit just going to plug into the PS5 and I'll literally just aim it directly at the PS5 and hopefully it cools it down. For the final upgrade, I actually decided to upgrade the SSD because we can make loading times even faster and get more storage as well. I was able to find an M.2 SSD that's officially licensed for PS5. It says it goes up to 7.3 megabytes per second, which is insane. I've literally never seen an SSD that fast. Even in my PC, it's not that fast. And it's four terabytes, but it costs $340. But first, did you know that the average person spends one fourth of their life sitting down? So it's really important to me that I'm using the most comfortable chair possible. This is is the Habata E3, which is hands down one of the best ergonomic office chairs I've used with its T-shaped linkage support system. They specifically designed this chair to prevent you from having any neck, shoulder, or waist pain. It has a three-zone floating wing lumbar support system. And it doesn't matter if you're 55 inches tall or even 70 because you can adjust it to have the most comfortable seating position possible. Not only that, but they have a 4D double axis neck pillow with partial pressure to relieve your neck and it has more flexibility for the most comfortable seating position. I really like this feature because when I'm sitting, I don't have to actually have my head hanging in the air. I can actually rest it on this neck support. You're also able to move it six centimeters up and down, five centimeters front and back, and it has a 45 degree rotation. With the 6D armrest, you get multi-directional adjustments, which helps with shoulder pain. That's not all though. This chair is seriously stacked with a ton of features. It has forward and backward adjustability for the seat cushion, breathable fabric, 140 degree tilt back, and mute wheels. Like I mentioned, the chair actually comes with a rear link linkage support system, which is perfect whether you're chilling and lying back or you're actually like gaming and up front. The chair itself might have a ton of features, but it's really important. It's actually good quality. Well, Hobata actually has an aluminum alloy base and it's past 120K rotations, 100K impacts along with a BFIMA test. But don't just take my word for it. This chair has over 3K five-star reviews on their actual website. So clearly a lot of people actually love this chair. So if you're interested, make sure to check the first link in my description or pinned comment and thank you so much to Hibata for sponsoring this video. Close to the price of a normal PS5, which you can get for like $460 now. So after spending enough money to literally buy a brand new PS5, I waited only two days and everything finally arrived. So it's actually only been a few days and everything from Amazon already arrived. I'm going to be adding the most expensive thing first, which is the SSD. So I actually never change it on a PS5, but I think it looks pretty easy. I've already changed them on PCs plenty of times. Okay. I literally thought I was going to change out an entire SSD, but I I guess I'm literally just adding extra four terabytes of storage. Okay, and just like that, we should have our extra four terabytes of storage, which is insane. I actually do need to have all the face plates off because we're gonna be adding some RGB. I'm not even gonna read the directions. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I feel like it's simple. I just like add two RGB strips. This was made for a PS5, and since this is the PS5 Pro, it doesn't exactly match its curve, but I can kind of work around with it. The only issue is I'm worried that now, I don't know if the plate will even fit on. Hopefully it doesn't like interfere at all. Okay, we're good. So I have it set up for the most part and you can kind of see it sticking out on the top, but it ain't too bad. I'll take it, it ain't too shabby. So like I mentioned, I got two different cooling devices. One of them is actually for a PS5. So let's just see if it actually fits on the PS5 Pro. I think I just should plug it in like this. So the thing is it clips on with the USB, but there's a tiny clip over here that kind of should attach to the panel, but it can't. How am I supposed to get my HDMI connected? Because if you guys can see, this thing literally goes over the HDMI. Like the HDMI is here and to plug it in, it goes like that. So this might not 100% work, which is why I actually got something else in case. So this is not an official PS5 product at all. So it's basically just a fan. Tell me this does not look like I'm building a whole PC at this point, bro. Look at all these connections, bro. This literally looks like I'm building a PC. This looks like the back of my PC, bro. I'm for the moment of truth. Thank you.
Oh, okay. I think, yeah, I think we're working on that. It has like some weird animation. Yo, the fans are spinning, bro. It actually works, bro. Who's actually using this, dude? The cord is really short. Okay, wait, no, no, we're so good. You see the fans on the back here? We got three fans. They actually do have power. And then you got your one massive block fan. I'm literally just gonna be pointing it at the back like this, bro. And I'll probably use like a little stand or something, bro. This is our PS5 PC setup. Just so you guys can see the setup, we're basically running the PS5. I'm just pointing it into the back of the PS5. So it actually is getting cooling, although it's not meant to get cooling like this. It's actually working. Now it's finally time to put our PS5 gaming PC to the test and see if it's actually better. Make sure you're on 120 FPS mode and here, let me just see if the building feels any better. I already noticed a small improvement in the FPS and I was hoping it was gonna be even better when I'm actually in game. I'm actually not trying to say this for the video. I think it actually is better. It actually might be a little bit better. The FPS legit might be more consistent only because we added more cooling in the PC in the PS5. We're calling it a PC already, bro. We legit built a PS5 PC, dude. The cooling on the PS5 Pro definitely helped to get a little little bit more consistent FPS. Although it wasn't over 120, it was at least a little bit more consistent. Dude, I'm telling you, that big fan genuinely, like that big black USB fan actually like helps, dude. Like that thing actually feels cool. All right, someone dropping in. Buddy. Yo, my aim sucks. Oh, wow. I need to quit. All right, time to actually start pushing some people here. Okay, on your head, buddy. Come on, he's one. There's, oh my, there's so many people around here. Wait, what? Why are there so many people? Wait, that's a real player too. I thought it was a bot. Oh wait, I need this loot. I need this loot. I need this loot. I need this loot. Wait, why are there so many people here? Oh, he's one HP. Come on, full box. Oh, what is this guy doing? There we go. Holy, my aim sucks, bro. This guy's an AI or no? No, he looks like a real player. Full box. Oh, oh, buddy. Wait, low key. I'm not even. Oh my gosh, I stuck. I, I, I kind of was about to speak too early. It might be placebo, but look at the FPS. It's actually really consistent, bro. Dude, that thing is like straight up cold. Like I, I can feel the heat. Yo, Loki, I'm gonna even put it closer. Dude, I can actually feel the heat coming off of it. And like this fan is like straight up cooling it down, bro. No, buddy. Oh yeah, full box. Oh. There we go. I did not think the PS5 was actually going to get better because it was actually super underwhelming, the PS5 Pro, when I tested it. It actually got better. Like, cooling, like, legit helped it, dude. Like, the FPS is actually way more consistent. You're dead? Okay, why are there so many boss, though? Oh, I need to start clipping them. I might be getting used to the input delay. I'm not even joking. I could actually build good, bro. Oh, clipped. Ready? Oh, there's someone landing on me. Where are you? What the? Where's he landing? It's the same bot, bro. What is this kid doing, bro? And this guy's shooting me from a mile away. Yup, one HP, dead. Honestly, I think the only upgrade you guys should do in this entire video is just buy the $10 cooling fan. Bro, why are there so many? I'm actually gonna get like 20 kills here. I think there was another one. Oh yeah, there was. All right, we're actually getting way more FPS than I thought. Like I'm still getting like 100. Bro, I can build like perfectly fine. Like it actually feels like perfect. All right, time to clip some kids, dude. Time to clip some bots. Ready? Deadpool, you're cooked. Oh my gosh, as soon, as soon as I say that, I just mess everything. Full boxed? Yup. I think this is another AI. Come here. Yup. What the? Oh yeah, that's a real player. Full boxed? Oh! Oh my gosh! He just got clipped, bro. I'm clipping all these kids, bro. Oh, I see you. I see you. You full boxed? And I... I just However, I actually wanted to test it out in a game I think the PS5 Pro is perfect for, which is Black Ops 6. Again, make sure you just turn off eco mode. Like, no one cares about saving electricity. You want max performance with the PS5 Pro. 120 hertz, and then you want your quality. You can do whatever you want, but it honestly looks insane when you have these. Obviously, pros don't play with that, but just for the video, I'll play with it. Like I mentioned, the biggest thing with the actual more fans is we should be getting more consistent performance. So I want to see if we get actually a lot of lag spikes. Okay, why? These kids are running in with melees, bro. I haven't had a single lag spike the entire time. I've literally been playing for like two minutes. Not a single lag spike. It's actually really consistent now. So our PS5 gaming PC actually kind of worked. I definitely am being completely serious. I think the FPS really helped. I'm even better, bro. I'm low-key even better. These kids low-key are playing with melees, but... Wait, let me use my drone. What even is this? Oh, shoot! Bam! Oh, wait, it's, a, it's like a missile. Oh, did I kill him? Wait. Wait, what is that, bro? Wait, I can still use that. I have one more bullet. I have one more bullet. <laughs> Wait, what is this, bro? It's like a missile. I just can fly around. Oh, shoot. I didn't even kill anyone. I suck, bro. Okay, so I have Call of Duty running at the max settings console can. 
haven't had a single frame drop. Okay, so we definitely got more storage, but to be honest, I didn't need that at all. So the only thing I think really helped is just the $10 USB fan. It was the cheapest thing, which is the funniest part. That's the only thing I would actually recommend buying. What the? Sit. Oh, I'm cooking these kids. Oh shoot, he's still there. Oh, I'm cooked. Yep. Yo, we're we're literally about to win. GG. Let me get one more kill. Let me get one more kill. Oh my, my aim. What am I aiming at? Oh shoot. You're done. Oh shoot. We're literally two away. Come on. Oh, you just got blue blown up, bro. Alright, GG, buddy. Come on, show the big Vermax is number one. What? I didn't get best play? Are you serious? Quick feeling? Okay, it's a little bit more hot, but I'm being so serious. This fan, I, if you guys have any console, I don't care if it's an Xbox, PlayStation, even an older one, dude, just this $10 USB fan is insane. It actually keeps it so cool. Like I can feel the PS5 like hot and then the air coming from this is just so cool. It's like immediately cooling it down. Let me know what you guys think was the best upgrade. I think it's pretty obvious, but maybe y'all like the little bit of RGB on the top. I have a lot more videos planned with this console, so if you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a sub, and you guys watch all the way to the end, so you might have enjoyed. But more importantly though, remember Jesus loves you, and that's about it. God bless.